Hey, beautiful human, thanks for clicking on our interview with Lonnie Chavis. He plays young Randall and this is us, and he plays Trevor on White Famous. This kid is a gem, a national treasure. You're going to enjoy the interview. Uh, please subscribe if you can and comment with your feedback below. And we have a podcast. Link in the description. Okay, enjoy. Let's do this. Show. It is the Zach Sang Show. We got Heather. Hi. We got Dan. Hello. And we welcome to the studio Lonnie Chavez. All yes. right. Yes. It's Chavis. Chavis. Uh, <laughs> got him. Dude, you, I, <laughs> I watched you say your own name like six times this morning, and I even wrote it out phonetically, C-H-A-V hyphen I-S, and I still messed it up. I tried. I'm really sorry. Well, well that's something. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? Well, that's something. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> well, <laughs> man. Yo, let's, uh, let's dive in. Okay, let's dive in. This is us is a cultural movement, man. It is shaping culture. It's shaping the way people watch TV. You realize that, obviously, right? I'm just happy that people watch the show. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't realize it. I mean, I kind of realize it. I'm just happy that people watch the show. The show is incredibly popular. Everybody watches it. A majority of Americans watch it. Like, you read articles, and it says that people, people actually return to their television to watch This Is Us. When you have widespread success like that, it, it does change your life a little bit. You know, you're always going to be young Randall. You know, people see you and they see Randall, right? True. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> I mean, it, is, is, there, is that hard for you? It's not really hard because I just do some other stuff, but mostly the people only know me by This Is Us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad or anything by that, but... <laughs> There are other opportunities, but I'm okay with this. Is us. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Dude, I think it's a pretty incredible op to just bring you out into the public like in a huge way. You're going to you're gonna work for a very, very, very long time. And I think This Is Us has a lot to do with it. I mean, you are white famous. It's another show you're in. You play Trevor. Like You're playing Jay Farrow's son, right? Yes. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> how, how funny is he on set? If I could... Name from one to unlimited. I would choose unlimited. <laughs> well, do you learn anything from working with Jay Farrow or Jamie Foxx? There's times to play, but there are also times when you got to chill. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I get that, especially on set because you, the, the lines are blurred a lot of the times, right? Yeah. How do you how do you dive in before you head to set? How do you like break down your script? How do you learn your lines? What's your process? First, I learn my lines. I rehearse the lines to see if I know them, like if I'm off book and I know them without just looking at the script. Then I do some little exercises, probably. Like Sometimes what? Sometimes I do some exercises. What kind of exercises? Some like push-ups and sit-ups? <laughs> well, well, I do that at my house. I, mean, <laughs> I can tell. You look really fit. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. I didn't You're think welcome. anybody noticed. <laughs> I did? Wow, thanks. Are you doing like red leather, yellow leather? Well, sometimes where I just count ABCs. I count my ABCs all the way to Z sometimes. Got I don't it. know if that's a workout, but I don't know. I don't, know. <laughs> Dude, I don't, know. don't change your technique. It's obviously working. When you're reading your script, do you read just your part or do you read adult Randall too so you know what's happening in the future? I really only read my parts because I want to know... I don't want to see what other people's lines are on script. I just want to watch the TV like everybody else and oh. learn what's new like everybody else. Uh, oh, that's cool. Really? Yeah, I get that. Are you reading the other actor's dialogue in your scene? No. God, so it's <laughs> just it? yours, so you're reacting like you don't know what's coming at you, but you know how you should react. Yes. Got well, it. I do know what's coming at me. Yeah. But, but I react at the same time. Got it. So there's kind of like two storylines with the young kids and then the adults. So you really don't know what's going on with the adult side until you rewatch the show like everybody else? Yes. Really? Why do you want to do that? Like, why don't you just want to know what's happening? I just want to I just want to learn like everybody else. I don't want to know a spoiler or anything. I just want it to become a surprise. Wow. He wants to enjoy the show like everyone else enjoys the show. It's a great show. I just feel like it'd be hard to enjoy a show like everyone else if you're on there and you have the opportunity to know what's going on. Yeah, I really only know what's going on when I'm in the scene. Because <laughs> when I watch, I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I said that. I remember that. <laughs> what's your favorite part about making television? That people can relate to what they're watching mm -hmm. on TV. 
and that you can express the character like it's really you. Yeah. It's powerful stuff. Especially a show like This Is Us. Especially This Is Us. <laughs> what are some of your favorite TV shows right now? Besides This Is Us, obviously. Family Guy. Yes, I know you were doing some impersonations earlier. Yeah. Can you do a couple now? Yeah, I could really only Oh, Stewie. Do... Stewie was really good. Do mm-hmm. Stewie. I could really only do Stewie, <laughs> Brian, and Lewis. Only. That's half only. the characters. <laughs> That's half of the characters. Mm, I'll do Stewie first. Okay. I love Stewie. Hello, Brian. You... You gonna write a book? You you gonna write a book, Brian? <laughs> hi. hi, hi, mom. Hi, Lewis. Hi, hello. Hi. That was, you nailed it. That was bravo, that was bravo. Perfect. Wait, dude, you earlier today you were doing a Kermit one. Oh, that was oh, good yeah. too. Oh yeah, Kermit the Frog. <laughs> you were the finest in the world, Miss Piggy. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> How'd you know you want to act? Like, what happened in your life? You're like, this is my job. I need to be in the TV. I watch TV so many times, and I used to think that the places that you see on TV are actually real. So when I watch, like, Mickey Mouse and that stuff, I'm like, oh, I want to go to Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> So then I asked my mom, like, I want to go to the places that I see on TV, and she, co- and she said that it's called acting. So I got signed up for acting, started doing some background, then I started doing the big stuff. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I wanted to be on the places in the TV. That's so adorable. Sorry, that's so cute. <laughs> Why do you think you've been so succe- successful at acting so far? I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know. I just try my best and hope that I do good. There's a lot of competition, though. You meet a lot of kids around town, right, from set to set. You're on a couple of Nickelodeon shows. I don't really think of competition. Yeah. I just have fun with it, but... Mm-hmm. Maybe some competition. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's all good. You got a SAG award, bro. I'm happy that that even happened. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that I was going to win. Because mm-hmm. when they yelled, this is us, I was like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's It's crazy. You look good in that suit and that holding that award. Very nice. Thank you. And you always look fresh in suits. Are you dressing yourself? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can't take no. credit for that one. Yo, your loafer <laughs> game, though, the, the shoes you're wearing, whew, you wore gold ones I saw on Instagram, fly. I got a shout out to Mr. Enrique Melendez. He's the one that styled that. Mm-hmm. Mm. He has some fire going on right now. Right? <laughs> Yo. Yeah, but you're, you, you get to, like, be the canvas for his fire, you know? He, he gets credit because he put it together, but you get to, the fire is on your canvas. The beautiful painting. In your clothes. He's wearing some fire, too. Yeah. Right? <laughs> All right. He's styling on me. <laughs> That's it. You at the Netflix party, by the way, you owned the dance floor. Was that fun? That was really fun. I wouldn't say owned the dance floor because <laughs> me and some other people got it working on. Like me and Miles Brown, Millie, right. Caleb. Yeah, that was really fun. It was you, the Stranger Things kids, Blackish kids. That, like, that's a nice little community. You guys can relate to each other. We can. <laughs> Do friendships come out of a moment like that? Yes, friendships come out of a moment like that. We all <laughs> we all got each other's numbers. We don't go eat or something. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, I have a question about the show. I know it's obviously acting, but does it ever get uncomfortable having to film certain scenes? Because you guys do talk about race and weight and, like, just being different. And, you know, you, you kind of feel uncomfortable watching it. So do you feel uncomfortable filming it? No, not really. Because I'm learning about the same stuff he's learning through at that time. Mm-hmm. Because when he learned about racism, I was learning about racism. He's, had a, he's having rivalry with his brother. His grandma doesn't like him. He has a lot of details to his character. When you first take, when you first get the role as young Randall, what do you think of Randall as a character and as a human being? Like, what what was the first thing that came to mind? That I can't believe he's adopted. Mm. Really? Because I really didn't know what adopted meant at first, but... That makes sense. When I started working with the Rand- with Randall, I started knowing what adoption meant. Mm-hmm. So then I started getting sad. Like, I can't believe these kids have no home. It's really sad. Do you work with Sterling K. Brown at all? Like, w- w- did you go to him and understand, or did, did he teach you anything? Like, were you figuring out how he's playing adult Randall? He did tell me that your first shot might be your last shot, so give it all oh. you got. Wow. Wow. That's, I mean, that's powerful, that's powerful advice that really can impact you. Preach. <laughs> <laughs> Preach. W- w- what would you consider your first shot 
in the industry? My first shot would really be every shot. That's, <laughs> that's a good way to look at it. You know, that's every shot really could be your last shot. And somebody told me when I was doing radio back years and years and years ago, and they our shot was break. You know, when you talk on the radio, they call it a break. And they said, you know, treat every break like it's your last break because... It really could be your last break. Like, mm-hmm. you never know. You could not even have a shot at all anymore. Mm-hmm. Somebody could have taken that. <laughs> yep. That's why you got to take down the competition. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> whoever is out there, I'll make friends with them. <laughs> Keep your enemies close, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We're all going to be friends. <laughs> but if it is some competition, I'm... Mm-hmm. I'm staying ready. All right. Yep. All right. I'm prepared. Uh-huh. I like that. Uh, what have you learned from being on This Is Us, besides that incredible piece of I- advice from Sterling K. Brown? Like, Life might pick you up, but you get back again. Mm-hmm. And it's really hard in the industry. That's, hey. I'm sure it is. Dude, that, but that's like a lot to soak in at such a young age. Do you feel like you're you're older than your actual age a little bit? No. Okay. Great Not answer. Not really. <laughs> no. What, what's been your favorite and least favorite scenes to film for the show? My favorite scenes have been the pool scene, um, that chicken pox scene, um, I forgot what it was called, but uh, Pilgrim Rick, that Thanksgiving scene. <laughs> I, I that saw was, that. That was really funny. My least favorite, I don't really have any least favorite. Really? <laughs> All right. Was there any scene that was harder to film than another scene? Like whether the it was chicken pox scene, okay. pretty much. What was hard about it? That I had to learn about racism. Mm. I didn't really know what it meant. But at that time that I was shooting, I started learning what it meant, and it was actually really sad to go through. When you're reading that in the script, do you go to your mom and you ask her questions? you go to your dad? I go to both of them and ask them questions about if I don't know what the words mean, I ask them. If I don't know what's going on, I ask them. If anything happens, I just ask them. Got it. I love my mom and my dad. You Aww. can you can dance, bro. <laughs> like you got it's, mm-hmm. it's crazy the moves you have. But like you were never a professional dancer. Did you take dance classes ever, or is it just like natural? I used to take dance classes, but now I just learn by myself. I watch YouTube videos. Nice. I even made up my own move, but nah, I what? think I think that's gonna pass. Wait, wait, what? wait! You made hold on. You made up your own <laughs> dance move. Yes. Show it to us. Yeah. You got it. You, you can't just tell us you made up your own dance move and not show us. I cannot show you. Dude. You, it's, it's, yeah, I, need, I need some more people to do it, but it's weird. Uh, Dave we will got, do it. I got it. We got, uh, we got a it. lot of people in this room. What's it called? Does it have a name yet? This could be the next Macarena. It does not have a name yet. All right. We're going to call it the Randall. <laughs> oh, that's great. And now you got to teach it to us. Okay. You in? Okay. Do you have to stand up for it? Or can well, you do it sitting? Is it like a... It's I, like, could, I could do it... Well, you I could do it really standing, but either way, I'm okay. I could explain it. Okay, okay. Ex- explain it, and then we'll do it standing. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Yeah. So basically, there are three or four people, how many people you want. Okay. A person has to do a move, then okay. the other people have to do a move, and then the second person has to do another move. Everybody has to copy it. The third person doesn't move. Everybody has to copy it. Mm. Okay. And then you all have to make up a little dance and then do it. So all right. okay, okay, got Wait, it. It's basically like you're copying each other, but at the end you have to mix up all the moves that you copy and create a dance hit with it. Oh. oh, all right. So every when you do the Randall, there's no two Randalls <laughs> will ever be alike. <laughs> every Randall is going to be different. I like this. Okay, what's your go-to? Uh, I have a lot of them. Yeah, but the backpack kid. Uh, oh, I can't, you, can you do that? I can't do that. I can do that. Can you show me? <laughs> yeah, let me like, see. Mm, mm, mm. Dun, dun, yeah, but how dun, do you get dun. it? So like, I don't know if I can't do it at all. Like my, yeah, my arm dad, doesn't go behind me. Yeah, my friend doesn't like this. Oh, that's 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 how much. I would do it. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm I, a nerd. That's how I would do it. I want. I did that at first too. Will we dance after this? Like, can we go dance by the wall later? Yeah, I'm down sure. to do, do this move. You know, I'll, I'll add to this collection. Are there <laughs> any dance moves that you haven't been able to do? Or are you one of those people that can just see a dance move that's popular and just pick it up? I want to do a front flip. Oh. Or backflip. But? But. Uh, <laughs> they're very hard. I'm not fit for that. <laughs> I'm not fit for that. Well, yeah, not you, yet. You got to learn not that. Yet. You train yeah. to do a backflip. Mm-hmm. I mean, safety hazard. Safety hazard. I mean, I really love parkour, too. That's oh. why I like like trying to learn those things. Yeah. yeah. Do you watch American Ninja Warrior? 
Yes. Oh my god, I love that show so much. It's so cool. I want to be on there so bad. They're making a American Ninja Warrior Junior. Are they sure. really? Uh huh. Oh, that'd be fun to watch. I can't wait. Yeah, Yo, you're gonna send in an audition video, I, I'm aren't you? I'm gonna send an audition video. I'm gonna be like, I'm fit. Hi, I'm Money <laughs> Chavis. Please send me. I really want to be on your show. Please. You can just do like parkour in your backyard. I'm just gonna parkour in my backyard. I'm gonna be like this parkour. I'm just gonna jump over a rock. Yeah. <laughs> parkour, parkour. <laughs> parkour. <laughs> you're gonna pull a Michael Scott. Yeah. You, uh, I'm probably gonna pull a limb, but. <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> That's all right. So, what is your dream role? My dream role to be yeah. on Stranger Things. Oh, really? Yes. It's a good show. Ooh. Or Blackish. One of them. Oh. <laughs> hey. Two things that could be po- uh, possible. That could be possible. Man, I just want to get on Stranger Things. <laughs> what is it about Stranger Things that you're like, you know, if I could, I'd be on this show? I like every single character and I like the monsters. I like that how Eleven, well, Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah. I like how. She doesn't really talk much, but in the second season, she talks a lot. But I like how she doesn't really talk much, but you know what she's kind of wanting to say. Mm -hmm. I like that. Do you think that's a harder role to take on? A role where you can't use words, but you have to use everything else? You know what I mean? Like, you have to convey emotion, but you you can't really speak that much. But you're right. You know what Eleven's thinking. Yeah, she must have really thought on that one. (laughs) Well... It looks easy. Not trying to say it's easy, Millie, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It must be hard. I mean, it's less lines you have to learn, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. Well, yes, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. If, if lines don't exist, yeah. So what? what's the future of This Is Us? Do you know what's going to happen? If, is there going to be another season? Do you have any idea? If I did know, I couldn't really tell Mm-hmm. But I don't know anything, <laughs> so um, I can't. Well, mm-hmm. I could talk about it, but I don't know anything, so I don't even know what to tell you guys. There you go. That's Nothing. Perfect. Can't tell us anything. <laughs> this is us. Is like those everything from next season, how many seasons they want to go to, even what's happening in the next episode. The, the lid on that show is so tight because of how many people are actually invested in it. Like, my mom is freaking out over the next episode because there's a whole twist now, and, you know, is Randall's dad, like, Randall's dad has passed, but he's still in the show, and, you know, it's really special to see how, like, the impact this show has on people's lives, you know? People yes. are hooked. <laughs> yes, he knows. <laughs> yes. <laughs> how is it working with Mandy Moore? It's great working with professional actors, and by working with them... I'm learning to be one too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I don't, I don't assume myself as, whoa, excuse <laughs> me, God. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Good, I Are didn't. you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, cool. <laughs> mm, I feel like I ate a burrito. I didn't, I didn't even yeah. really eat a burrito though. <laughs> okay, so. It just feels um, that way. <laughs> we're weary. <laughs> we're weary. Mandy, Mandy Moore. Moore. Mandy Moore. Right. It's really good working with the, Wow, okay. It's really good. <laughs> I feel like Mandy Moore gets you choked up, doesn't she? <laughs> it's really good working with professional actors, and by working with them, I learned to be one too. I don't really assume myself as a professional actor, hmm. but I'll get there one day. Okay. I'll get to one day. I'll, I'll get there one day. <laughs> when will you know if you're there? What what, what defines that? If I mean, you won't a know. A million if- people come knocking on my door. That- All right. <laughs> hey. I think you're almost there. Truth. Or you will get there. Dude, Def. you're making a lot of lists of, like, the most powerful kids in Hollywood, so, uh... Not really. I don't really... <laughs> I don't really think that. Okay. There are definitely more people. Because I've been... I was, I was hanging out with my friend. Somebody came up to me, and then she said, What's your friend's name? I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, his right. name's Miles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who is your friend? Is he a, a Miles actor? Miles Brown. He's an actor. He plays in Blackish, actually. Oh, got it. Cool. You sh- did you ever, you ever listen to Mandy Moore's old music? I listened to it once. What'd you think? I thought it was good, but I couldn't handle it. I just started. <laughs> oh my god, this is this is just. Oh my god, you guys are. I want to play the song so bad. Which one was it? I'm craving for you. Is it? That's Mandy Moore, right? Yeah, I'm missing you like candy. I'm missing you like candy. Huh? Was it the song from Walk to Remember? Oh, yes. Oh, because it was sad. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Walk to remember got me. Have you sleep. <laughs> Did you see that movie? You watched the movie? Or you just listened to the song? I only listened to the song. Oh, but it's it's good though. It is good. Uh, I mean, can I get a part in it? I'm trying to say. <laughs> get a part in it. I could sing. <laughs> I'll try. A walk to remember two, maybe. I walk to the remember sequel. two. The sequel. <laughs> yeah. I could, I could sing. I mean, uh, there you I, go. I got some vocals. Yeah, <laughs> I got some vocals. <laughs> Is there anything you cannot do? You parkour. You sing. You act. You, you dance. dance. I can't do a backflip. Not, Not yet. yet. I can't do a front <laughs> Not <flip>. yet. <laughs> I can't. I can't sing. <laughs> Obviously. I, I don't know. I thought. I think there's a, a budding good. talent there. I got a lot of stuff I can do though. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I can't do because I saw somebody hold fire in their hand without burning. What? What? And I'm it? wondering how that so, that was. Uh, are they an avatar? Like what? It, like that's firebender. The last. The last. What? The, the what? Avatar. <laughs> Wait, what? There's different avatars. They would bend. The last Airbender. They would bend mm-hmm. air. They'd bend water. Earth bend. Fire bend. Water. Yes. Air. You're in. I mean, I'm lost. I, I have control, no idea. I can control air. Watch. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. That was magic. I think he's. Some... I think he's a witch. I don't know. <laughs> I got some powers. You know, I see that. You, know. you got a lot going for you, my friend. I'm holding air in my hand right now. You can't see it because it's air. It's, it's air. air. <laughs> air <laughs> you're so fun uh, uh, thank you you're welcome <laughs> anything else we're thinking i don't know i want to keep him here all day i know it's so cute um i don't know <laughs> okay i got one last thing to say oh okay okay <laughs> goodbye everybody <laughs> <laughs> and that's it <laughs> Lonnie Chavez, everybody. Oh Did God. I say that right? Ch- 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 Chavis. 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 Oh. <laughs> I've had so many people mess that up, but for some reason, you just made that kind of funny. <laughs> that was kind of funny, actually. Dude, when, 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 uh, yeah. That's how you know you're successful, when people stop messing up your name. Mm, true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you were saying, how do you know? True. that? That's how it should Lonnie be. Lonnie Chavis. Somebody said that at a stage. They said, please welcome to the stage, Lonnie Chavis. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Rude. No. <laughs> Try again. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I love seeing you uh, at the Wrinkle in Time screening with Little Yachty. Wrinkle in Time. Was it? I, it was. Oh, it Black, was Panther. Black Panther. Sorry. Wrinkle in Time. I, I no. I can't wait to see that. I wish I was at the premiere, but I wasn't. D- but so. you, but you, you helped put on a really cool screening for kids. It I was really sick. Like that. Yeah, it was special. How was Little Yachty? He's fun. I've actually met him like a couple years ago. He was on the street. I got to take a picture with him. I don't know if he remembers me, but he probably doesn't. I don't think so. he remembers anything, to be honest. <laughs> so don't take it personal. I mean, he could. He remembers his songs. Dang. Yeah. Okay. He, he remembers his songs. That's true, a good start. True. He's he's pretty good. I mean, he's 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 okay. He's I like him so I like his songs. Okay. Yeah. He's he's fine. Offset was there too. <laughs> Offset. Yeah. Offset. <laughs> the newest yeah. Migo over here. Join the Migos. Dude, that'd be pretty cool. If I could join the Migos, all I would do was this. Uh, yeah, hey, <laughs> hey, yeah, hey. That's all I would do in a song. That's all you need to do. I don't think the Migos can handle you, Lonnie. Yeah. I could awesome. rap. I would rap a little bit, but that would be literally like 10, 20 seconds. Have yeah. you ever wrote a rap before? Yes. Do you know it offhand? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I brought it with me, but no. What? <laughs> let's no. hear it. You have it? He yes. said he brought it with him. Yeah, yeah, let's hear it. What? It's in his phone. Of course it is. Yeah, I wrote it in my notes. Whip it out. It's not that. I mean, it's a, it's a work in progress. All right, that's fine. That's what it should be. Everything has the ability to evolve. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. LC. Uh, yeah. Every day, back at it again with the script in my hand. I give them bands for, for me, but also for the fam. I'll be in the high trees, but then I go to God and pray on my knees. Super clean, you was clean. I'm just free to be who I want to be. I want to fly, but don't get too high because I can't breathe. Do I'm cool? Dude, I'm too cool. Go to school, but don't. But. 
<laughs> dude, you dude, killed it. it. Dude, I'm too cool. Go to school, but go to sleep. Don't drool. <laughs> yeah, hey, I don't like none of these haters. You trying to see me now? See you later. Then we go to eat and cater. My mama cooking lasagna in the kitchen. We all whipping. Don't spill a pot because the sauce is dripping. I'm with the crew and we finna hang. <laughs> Want to be a black man? Praise the God with my hands. God super low key. Stay tuned for more and watch me on TV. Oh. <laughs> About the freestyle, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, yeah, that's my style. Go to the beast and eat, chilling with the homies, yeah, we lean too. Lit every day, then go to work, but first gotta pray. This is my life, only mine, but let me flip a dime to check the time. Then I gotta rhyme, you know me, but got the real MVP. I just wanna turn up with my friends, tic tac toe is a dance. If haters talking, then they finna catch these hands. Woo! Oh, okay! My Bravo! Okay! Standing ovation! That was great! Dude. Good job! Good stuff! Yeah. For you. If you're wondering what the L C standing for, that's standing for like cause Lonnie and Chavis. Oh, your initials. Uh, I was gonna say L G C. Is that your middle name? What's your middle name? Jean. Jean. Oh. With G E N yeah. E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like L G C Lone. Mm, that kind of reminds me of Long Beach. Long Beach and Compton. Now you know we in trouble. Ain't Whoa. nothing but a G thing, thing, baby. baby. Too, Too low down. <laughs> going, going crazy. crazy. Hey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yo. Yo, you, you respect for you. You're woke. I just want to let you know that you are woke. <laughs> Thank you. Did I use that correctly? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Okay, okay. <laughs> I might publish that later. I don't know if I'm going. I just noticed that my ringer wasn't off. That's well, alright. That's okay. We're good. That was good. You killed it. Okay, so I might publish that later. I don't know. I might keep it, save it, because I might add some more stuff to it. Mm hmm. But dude, oh, working pro. Right. Who knows who could hear this and who's gonna reach out to you and be like, "Yeah, I gotta produce this. I mm -hmm. gotta get on this record." Could be anybody. I just noticed that a bunch of people just heard that. Mm -hmm. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people are gonna hear that. Reach out to me, man. <laughs> uh, my name Lonnie Chavis. Lonnie Jean Chavis. Hook it up. Let's go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's his own hype man. I love it. Dude, you're... You're great. You're phenomenal. Let's get lit. Hey, hey, let's get lit. Hey, hey. Okay. Lottie Chavis. Respect for you. Thank you. I said the name right, finally. Dude, yes. appreciate you deeply. Give it up. All right, everybody. Lottie. Okay. Gotta say one last thing. Okay. okay. All right. You probably said it before, but... Hello, Brian. <laughs> I'm just gonna exit with that. Bye, Brian. <laughs> Bye, Brian. I really hope you enjoyed that conversation. If you did, please subscribe and also check out our podcast. There's a link in the description. And also comment and like and do things. Other interviews are on the screen somewhere. So click them. Thanks for watching.